Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is Detect Capital. So in this question, we're given a string and we have to check for these three criteria mentioned here. The first condition is that if all the letters in the word are capital, so you return true. The second condition is that if all the letters in the word are not capitals, like here in lead code, you return true. And the final condition is that if the first letter is capital and the rest of the letters are in lowercase, then also you return true and the rest of the cases you return false. So in this case, all the letters are capital, so you return true. In this case, you return false because the last letter is capital. If it would have been a lowercase letter, then it would have been true for the third condition. So to simplify the problem statement, we have to check for these three conditions. If any one of the conditions is true, then you return true, else you return false. So it's simple. First, let us write these three helper functions and then we'll call these three helper functions for the input word. If either of the conditions satisfy, you return true, else you return false. Coming to the first condition, we have to check if all the letters in the input word are uppercase. So let's write the helper function. This helper function will return true or false. So the return type is boolean. I'm going to name it all caps and take a input string word. Let's iterate through the word from left to right. Now we have to check for each character present at the ith index position if it is uppercase or not. So let's extract the character char ch. So word dot char at of i. If this character is uppercase, we'll increment the count. If character not is uppercase of ch, we'll increment a count variable. So first let's initialize this count variable here. So each time you encounter uppercase character, you'll increment the count variable. Finally, outside the for loop, we'll check if the length of the word is equal to count, which means that all the characters are uppercase. If both the length and the count are same, we'll return true, meaning all the characters are uppercase. If word.length is equal to count, then this function will return true meaning all caps, else will return false. So that is the first function which we have written for all capital letters. Now we have to check if all letters are not capitals, which means all letters are in lowercase. I'm going to copy this function and paste it once. I'll name this function as all lower and use the is lowercase method. And the rest of the logic is similar. Whenever you encounter a lowercase letter, you increment the count. Finally, you compare the count with the length of the word, which means that all the letters are in lowercase. So if this condition passes, you'll return true, else you'll return false. So that is the end of the second method. Now let us write the function for the third method, where we have to check if the first letter is uppercase and the rest of the letters are lowercase. So let's write the third function. I'm going to name it title case. In this function, first let us extract the first character. The first character will, pre will be present at the zeroth index position. Now let us extract the rest of the characters using the substring method. Word dot substring and it will start from the first index position. Now we have to check if this ch is uppercase and this substring contains all lowercase characters. So if character dot is uppercase of ch and all lower method and pass the substring to check if this contains all lowercase characters. So if the above condition passes, you have to return true else will return false. Now that we have the three functions, all caps, all lower and title case, 
let us use these three functions inside the main function detect capital U. So if either of the three function is true, you have to return true, else you'll return false. So if all caps of this input word or all lower of this input word or title case of this input word if either of the functions passes true you have to return true else you'll return false now let's try to run the code by getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted which is faster than 99.23 percent of the java online submissions that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one